All right. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing today? I decided that today I wanted to work on um, doing some work with these um, paint pours that we did last weekend, our experiment. So these turned out, it was a lot of fun. I don't know why I held off so long. Um, we did, though. <laughs> but I'm so glad that we tried it. Um, couple of lessons learned. I think my paint was a little too thin, so it, it definitely flowed a lot. Um, we did get some air bubbles that I didn't realize until after the fact. You can kind of see one right there. Um, and so what I have learned since is that I should take a hairdryer, a craft gun, a heat gun, something um, over them to pop all those little bubbles. So that will... Um, be the plan next time is to try and get some of those bubbles out. And then I also had them on those wire racks and that made for some interesting backs, but I've kind of cleaned them up and sanded them. And then I think what I will do next, I don't know why my camera is so shaky. That's so weird. Um, I will, I'm going to take some like gesso and then white paint and just make like a nice oval or whatever shape of the rock. And um, then that's where I'll write, you know, the information about the rock group on the back of it. So but they were just so much fun and we did pretty basic. We just had two or three colors, but it was a lot of fun um, just seeing how the designs would come out. So um, I figured today would be a good day to like, let's put some extra stuff on them. See um, what we can write on these little guys. So I think I'm going to focus with a white pen. I think that'll show up the best. I may have to go back and, um, fill it in a bit with white paint because sometimes the Posca pens don't have enough um, opacity to them. So um, I'm just going to shake one up and get started. I'm going to use this um, Posca PC1MR. And I like these for writing. They have the nice tip on them like this. It's great. Let me shake that guy up. I have no idea why my camera's going. Maybe we're having a very mild earthquake that I don't know about. <laughs> Who knows? I need the test paper. Let's see here. A little test paper to make sure I'm... Yep, we're flowing. All right. So I think on this one, I'm going to start with a word that I'm used to writing. Deep love. I knew I can space it well. All right. And this is just one of those words that I write all the time. So don't think I'm some expert with hand lettering. I just write this one <laughs> a lot. So I'm going to go down and thicken up all of the areas where the pen was in a downstroke so that we have kind of that calligraphy brush pen look to it. So down and around. And I'm hoping everybody had a great week this week. I feel like we haven't slowed down for about two weeks because we had a birthday party and family celebration last week. And then this weekend was the twins first homecoming so we had some last minute shopping and then getting ready and then nerves and getting them to the dance and we live actually close enough to the high school that we could hear the dance going on because it was outside as a COVID precaution they had it in their courtyard so we could hear the DJ at times <laughs> which was kind of cool um, but they both had fun. They were nervous, but they had a ton of fun and they were glad they went. So we have our first high school dance in the books. But it also has felt like we just haven't stopped moving for like two weeks. So hopefully next weekend we can have some downtime. And I forgot to ask my husband before he left for work if he could get the Halloween decorations down because they're in a precarious spot in the up high part of the garage that I'm not sure I'm tall enough even with a ladder to get without possibly hurting myself <laughs> so um 
I need his help to get them down. If he can get them down, I can do things with them. But so I'm just going to write choose love here because we should all choose love, whatever that means for you. Right. Choose love. I'm just going to add some little notches to the, the hard edges on these letters. And it just kind of gives them a little bit of a kind of like a typeface character, I guess. So there's one. And I may end up coming back with some glitter paint over these just because you know me and my glitter paint. Sparkle is fun. So we'll see. So there's one. And I've got a Pinterest up on another browser here in case I need it <laughs> um, for some quote ideas. And I might just use it. Let's see. Let's see. I see we had somebody new swing in. Go ahead and feel free to drop a comment and let me know you're here. I hope you're having a great day. Um, ooh, that's a good one. How about impossible is just an opi opinion. I like that. Make sure my pen's still working here. And let's take, oh, I'm scanning the rocks to see if this is the right um, shape that I want for this one. For this one, I'm going to do another choose love on this one because of the shape. And that will work just fine. Let's see here. I sent a bunch of rocks, like a box of rocks, with a friend from work who does geocaching and um she took them. She's like, oh, I could leave them in the geocaches. I didn't realize they actually left trinkets um, in them. So she wanted to take some rocks. So I sent a bunch of the mandalas from uh, last week's tutorial. And she took them. And, and she also left some, um, I guess, along like some of the trailheads and stuff. And she said they were already gone when she um, came back. So that was... Um, we're having some kid fun in the background here. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. We're trying to keep everybody occupied for this little short stint here. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh, the rocks went off on a geocaching adventure. And so some of them, she knows, already disappeared when she came back down. I don't think they were necessarily in a geocache. They were just kind of at the trailheads and people had found them along the way when they were uh, um, walking and whatnot. So that was cool the mandalas went on their way. I really liked how those came out. They were pretty, pretty simple, but um, the color combination, that purple, green, orange, and I used the neon paints. Those are fun. They're nice and bright and, and just fun. And I think everybody is jumping into the spooky season. We have been on that train for a bit now, but I think the rest of the world is starting to catch up now. <laughs> so that's good. Um, little lines Let's see. I choose a little bigger on this one choose love okay maybe a little big that went off the side of the rock good plan let's see here So our office at work has been decorated for Halloween since September 3rd <laughs> because we're of the impression that we will take any kind of holiday decorations we can get to help us feel happy and better during this um, ongoing pandemic that's just loads of fun. Um, so we'll have two of those. What did I say was the other one? Impossible is just an opinion. Let's see, this one's kind of a bumpy rock. So we'll see how, how well I can write on this guy. So see some more people stopping in, drop into those comments. 
say hi. Let me know who you are, what you're doing, how your week's been. Um, and if you have paint pouring tips for me, I bought some new stuff. Um, cause I want to try and experiment with those, um, where you can make the paint make cells where it kind of bubbles through. So I did what any responsible person who doesn't know, <laughs> I went on Amazon and I ordered this, it got here already. So it's acrylic pour oil. And I think you literally just put a drop or two into the paint. One of the colors, I think. So if anybody that's on is, um, I know Shannon's shack is, is that's what she does. So, um. I don't know if you put it in all of your colors, but I think the ones I've seen, they put it, they pick a color, like whether it's white or black or just one color. So that one color kind of makes the bubbles come through. So let me know if, um, if that works. Okay. So let's see if we can write on this bumpy guy. I'm not seeing any comments, so I hope I'm not missing anything. I think we're good. We're good. You guys just are being quiet today. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's the best way that this sits here. Mm, let's go here. So I'm going to write impossible is just an opinion on this one. Oh, it's bumpy. It's bumpy. And it's also got some like bubble and I just had a moment where I thought I was spelling wrong impossible <laughs> um it's got some bubble bumps too but that's okay I'm gonna get through it impossible is Oop, right through the bubble dust there just And do I want to do cursive? No, I think I'm just going to write. I'll do it big too. This is good advice, right? Impossible is just somebody's crummy opinion that you should not listen to. I like making little hearts at the bottom of my exclamation points. So let's see, I'm gonna, how can I dress this guy up a little bit? I'm gonna do the downstrokes on a pinion to give it a little more, a little more to stand out. Let's see here. Let's see, an end goes up, down, up. <laughs> so it's the diagonal part that's down. I think I always mess these up and do the wrong thing thick when I think about it. So I'll do both of them to make sure I don't forget when I get over to number two and over here. So I'm debating about, I have not done this, this week's tutorial yet. So I have to figure out which thing I'm going to do for this week. I'm debating about some kawaii stuff. Oh, there's Shannon. <laughs> Hello, Shannon. <laughs> um, you're back. You're you're super loyal on these lives. You're awesome. Um, this week's tutorial, I think, is either going to be a Halloween ladybug or what else? Um, I don't know. Feeling kind of brain weary today, I guess. This one is definitely all kinds of rough. You can see bumps, and I think we touched this one. <laughs> so there's like fingerprints and fun stuff in there. So Shannon, I don't know if you saw that I was on Amazon already looking for stuff to um, create cells in these pores. And so I went for the thing that had really good reviews and a lot of them. And so this is the pore oil that I got. And I think the way to do this, I still need to do more homework. I really dove in on this without researching too much, but I think what you do is put like one or two drops in one of the colors, or do you put it in multiple colors? Cause I know this is like, this is what you do. Um, I'm going to do another love on this cause this rock is super bumpy. Um, 
because I definitely want to try this again. I might even try and do some Halloween themed ones, but I don't know if I feel comfortable on um, doing a tutorial on it just yet. Okay, so that's a new one to you. You've never seen that one. It was pretty affordable. I think it was $10.99 for the bottle and it's four ounces. So it's decent sized. And, and if I'm only using a few drops, I think it should last for quite a while. Um, but we'll see. I was just thinking I might as well get something that's made for this rather than, um, I think you can use hair products, you can use WD-40, you can use treadmill oil and that. I was like, well, eh, this says it's non-toxic and it's made for exactly this. So that was kind of appealing to me. Okay, so one drop in one color to start and then eventually you can go to more colors. Okay, good beginner's advice. <laughs> that's great. Um, oh, cool. So you have, um, you have a tut tutorial on this. So I will go hunting for that on your channel and see if I can find it. Um, Cause it really, it was easy and it was a whole lot of fun. We had so much fun with it and kind of watching how, how it all comes. And then I know there's different, um, I guess, different types of pores. Like, I guess what we did was a dirty pour, I think, because it was the layered colors. Um, but I know there's flip cups where you can have a cup flipped upside down on your canvas or I guess your rock and then you just pick the cup up and let the paint flow, which could be fun. That sounds kind of fun too. Um, there's all kinds of fun, I think, with these that I would like to try. So it's, it's funny that it took me this long to try it. It's cracking me up. And when I was trying to figure out what it was that was making me um wait so long it sounded so much like all of my arguments for why I waited so long to try art resin <laughs> and that worked out really well so and this worked out really well I think so I just need to practice and play and experiment and I think one of the beauties of it is that they don't ever come out any same way right which is that's the fun of it Let's add some accent lines. I was going to draw a heart on this one because it's kind of shaped right for it, but it is so bumpy. We'll go with those. I'll just add some little accent lines instead. Oops. Put a dot in a bump. Okay. There's another one. All right. Oh, okay. They're called blooms. Of course. See, I need to do some homework do some homework and figure out what all these things are called and um, all that fun stuff. Um, I think my biggest hold up before was the, um, it was the paint wasting, but I think, or it felt like it was wasteful, but I, I think I'm over that and I use pretty cheap paint most of the time anyway. So um, I think, I think that'll work. Um, I'm just looking really quickly for another quote here on um, Pinterest on my other browser to see what else I want to put. Um, oh, here's a good one. Gratitude is short for great attitude. This is kind of a small rock, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to put gratitude. Let's see. I started on rock pen painting and I'm trying to <laughs> trying to do, do my rocks. That's so funny. That's okay. That's what we're here for, right? We learn from each other. That's the best part. That's that's the beauty of YouTube, I think. Um oh, you use them for put them um on anything else to make jewelry out of them. That's cool. I actually bought some really tiny um Santorinis from someone that she drilled holes in them. They're kind of, they're small, they're skinny and they're long and they have holes drilled in them. Like you could make a necklace out of them. And I just haven't, I think I had great ideas and then um, didn't follow through on it yet, but I still have them. Um, they would make like a nice long necklace with like a thick, maybe not even a chain, but like some other sort of something to go around your neck. Um,
maybe some of these will end up going back out in the geocache adventures also. Hopefully I can fit this. Sometimes I'm not very good with spacing and great attitude might be a bit of a tight squeeze here, but I think we're going to do it. I'm like highly paranoid about spelling now because I have, I have messed up and I was like a good speller when I was in school. Okay. I kind of went off the side, but it's there. Um, I was a good speller when I was in school, but I have messed up spelling on rocks more than I should considering. And I think it's even worse on these lives because I'm talking at the same time. So it's like my brain is distracted and I messed up those um, happy fall y'all rocks and somebody caught it. I put the apostrophe in the wrong spot. So I have to go back and fix a couple of them because it has Y-A apostrophe L-L and it should be Y apostrophe A-L-L. But, you know, good thing for sandpaper. And I hadn't resined them yet. So, yes, it's like a merge of two channels. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of highlight grat gratitude more than anything. Give some little lines on this without sticking my fingers in the paint. There we go. Special message. Gratitude is short for great attitude. Running out of room on my mat, so I'm gonna have to set aside. Let's see. So I've got some bigger ones here. Let me see if I can search for um, some slightly longer quotes over here. Um, let's see. Got so much saved in Pinterest. It's a dangerous place sometimes, right? Um, oh, how about this one? Kindness is love in action. That's one of my favorites too. It's funny how I come back to the same ones over and over and over. Um, kindness is love in action. Which one do I want to do that on? I'll do it on here. I think I'm going to thicken up some of these letters with a this is a broader tipped Posca. It's like super duper. So I'm going to shake that one off so I don't make you guys dizzy. Um, I will do that, Shannon. I will shoot you an email. Um, let's see. So what did I say? Kindness is love in action. So I want kindness and love to be big on this one. Um... So let's do kindness first, and then we'll come back and create some more accents. But this is just thicker, so I won't wear out that other little pen. And we'll see how we do. Ooh, this thing is really dragging across here. Again, I started too far to the right, but that's okay. I think we are more critical of our own work than the people that actually find these rocks because they're almost always, I think, more excited. <laughs> Welcome, JHR252. <laughs> are we confusing you? <laughs> are you just testing out the comments? <laughs> Whatever works. And like Shannon said, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, let's see, so we're going to do kindness is love. I'm going to do love really big. And I'm going to do a heart for my O. I'll probably come back and fill some glitter in on that just because. This marker is on its, it's funny, it has all these little like, like it's not sliding smoothly. You can see these little like track marks in it on the V. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'll come back and go over it. 
All right, let me pull out the smaller one again. Kindness is love. I don't know why I chose to go to cursive. Stressing myself out here. Let's see. Ooh, I hit a bubble. Bubble again. Might be some bouncy cursive, because geez louise, that was got some bubbles. So definitely the heat gun will be hitting these next time. So we've got kindness is love and action. I'm going to add a little accents to the edge of these with this pen because it's thinner, so it's kind of cool looking as opposed to the really broad tipped one. That will make it even more um, delicate. And you have a pen that does that too. And I'm flipping upside down because I will put my finger in the wet paint because I've been doing that. I've been geniusly doing that a lot lately so I'm just gonna give these and I'm gonna let it dry because the Posca pens are very temperamental I think would be a good word if you go over them again with when they're not completely dry it can get real messy so I'm I may even take a fine line brush later and just take white paint to fill them in because that makes it nice and uh that's the basics of it and I definitely will put glitter paint in the middle of that heart because that's that's cool all right what else can we do let's search the quotes search the quotes um, let's see I have affirmations of that Martin Luther King jr. Oh, I like this one. Do the universe a favor. Don't hide your magic. I like that. I think that's that's a winner. But we're going to make magic giant. And it will have glitter because magic is glittery. It's a glittery kind of sparkly word, right? Um, so I'm going to put the big word on first. A lot of times I'll do that because then I can work around the big word rather than putting... A bunch of smaller words and then trying to make the big word or you know kind of this standout word stand out somehow whether that be size or anything else i gotta shake this up it is this is an unhappy pasta <laughs> but i also think it might be um nearing the end of its life which could also be part of this so that's okay it's been a good pasta I don't use it a ton because it's so big. And I have another one that's like the royal blue, and I used to use it to make a little box for the Facebook logo on the back of my rocks when I wrote the, the group name. But uh, I, don't, I don't take the time now a lot of times to do that, which is a bummer. I just write it and draw the little box around it. But this will definitely get some glitter paint because magic is sparkly. All right. Now I forgot the quote. <laughs> Got the big word, but I forgot the quote. Do the universe a favor. Don't hide your magic. Okay. So I may go backwards on this one. So we're going to do... Don't hide your, and I'm just using normal print here. And I think sometimes we get caught up in trying to make things too fancy. And remember the, the whole point of this is to leave little nuggets of kindness out there to surprise somebody and make them, you know, feel important. So do the universe a favor do a favor here so 
I think just a nice handwritten note or message to someone is just as well received as something that's maybe a little fancier or, you know, you took more time on it. Okay, so do, and now I'm into the bumps. Do the universe a favor. And I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot. Let's see. Dot, dot, dot. There. Oh, you'd rather watch me than an acrylic pour live show you're supposed to be watching. Well, I guess you get to choose, right? Unless you like committed to watch the other one. <laughs> um, hello, DJ Aiden. Welcome. Nice to see you. I hope you're having a great Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm doing great today. Um, I'm just going to add some little hearts on here because it looks like it needs some extra something on here. So hearts are easy. And um, I got some extra lighting in here, but I can see how it's, it's creating a shine on some of these. So sorry about that. I'm trying to move it around where you can see what I'm doing. There's a few hearts there. Do the universe a favor, and I'm gonna put one over here. Make sure I'm dry. Okay. All right, I like that. Do the universe a favor and don't hide your magic. All right. Um. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm going to find another quote. Let's see here. Um, unless you guys have a quote idea. If you have a quote idea, send it to me. Um, cause this rock is kind of large. It's my last kind of large one. Why am I thinking so hard here? Do, do, do. Um, creativity is intelligence. Having fun, that's fun. Um, so I'm going to do, let's see, let's do creativity is intelligence. I can't talk today. I need sleep. So, oh, and my pen died. Get another test going. I'm not sure what's going on in the comments right now. I don't know what a band speed run is. <laughs> if I'm supposed to say leave and it's over. Not sure what you're talking about. I'm thinking you're probably not here for the rocks. Um, let's see here. So creativity is my first word here. Let's hope I can spell it right. <laughs> Creative. Man, I really got to quit starting so far to the right. Creativity. Maybe that's part of the creativity is being crooked. <laughs> ah, joy, joy and happiness. I have some perfect, I have some smaller ones. I think this one will be perfect for a joy. I think that would be perfect. Brody wants me to ban him. What in the world? Okay, so go away, Brody, I guess. Banned by blocking you. Oh, how funny. I have a feature. I can put people in timeout. It's like parenting. Live streaming is like parenting. I did not know this. <laughs> I uh, have no idea what that was about, but okay. So he's gone. He's banned. Hopefully we helped him with his test. <laughs> that was weird. 
this is what happens when you're just a normal person just trying to share. <laughs> That's all. Um, not trying to become Mr. Beast or YouTube famous or whatever it is. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. No clue. But maybe that means maybe that means I've made it somehow because I had some kind of stalker, lurker, whatever that person was. But he's gone now. Now I kind of want somebody to act up so I can put them in timeout because that just cracks me up that I have the ability to put someone in timeout. Didn't know about that. <laughs> Although rocks are supposed to be an escape from parenting. I don't want to have to parent you internet adults. <laughs> oh, I think DJ Aiden's trying to do the same thing. So you're heading out too. Bye. <laughs> Not necessarily be saying those kinds of things. All right. All right, Shannon. <laughs> I think we have survived. I have no idea what that was about. Um, all right, back to rocks. Now I'm probably guaranteed to misspell something, right? Because um, my typical trolls. So weird. People have nothing better to do with their lives than troll the internet and leave stuff, I guess. I mean, I see it in social media, too, on, like, news stories in the comments. that they, It's like their mission in life is to pick fights with people. It like, raises my blood pressure. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but that's just me. <laughs> Who knows? Well, we'll call that a victory. We'll say, first trolls, you know you've made it to some sort of milestone in the YouTube world if you have trolls. <laughs> We'll go with that. It was fairly harmless. There wasn't anything too awful about it, but we'll just go from there. Uh, make this word fun look kind of standout-ish. And then probably something to creativity. I feel like creativity needs a little bit more love. On this guy. Let's see. I'm going to flip upside down so I don't stick my hand in the wet paint. I'm just going to do the, the little lines. Let's see how this goes. Shannon, are you doing a, a paint pour today? Or are you just watching? No, you paint and watch. You're a multitasker. At least you were. Weren't you doing that last time? You were. You were multitasking, I thought. But I could also see if it was a paint pour. You probably, unless you have this set up somewhere else, you probably couldn't watch and pour because your, your setup is pretty elaborate. I was impressed. I was working off a cookie sheet. <laughs> I made my family save their Starbucks cups yesterday because I think some of those will be very handy to flip upside down and sturdy enough to hold the rocks. <laughs> I like how that came out. Okay, so creativity is intelligence having fun. I feel like something belongs right here, but I can't I can't quite think. So I'm gonna let that sit and marinate and then I'll think of something. Let's see. I'm gonna move this off over here. I'm gonna do this other little rock that I said was gonna be good for joy. Because it is perfect. Perfect, perfect size. So let's give that a try. And I'm going to do this in big print that kind of extends. This, this one has kind of a, a mountain shape to it. I guess if you look at it this way, it kind of goes up and down. So I'm kind of going where it will be visible over both sides of that. You know you're doing good if you get yourself a troll. Oh yeah, yeah. 
that might make me rethink the whole shebang, man. I don't want to deal with people like that. But like I said, that was pretty harmless. It wasn't, um, it wasn't too bad. It could have been worse, especially after all the horror stories you heard like last year with the kids doing distance learning and people crashing the Zooms. Um, I think I'm going to add one more word to this. I'm going to add spark at the top. Spark joy. I should have done this the other way around, but that's okay. Maybe I'm not. I'm not. Sometimes you just have to leave it alone. I do that sometimes where I overdo it and then I regret it. So I'm not going to overdo it on this one. Because sometimes simple is just the best way to go. Keep it simple. And go from there. Um, so I'll thicken this up at least so it stands out, but I'm not going to write, oops, Got a little bubble or a little something rather in there. So I guess one of the dangers with these, working with these, is that you, um, you, uh, can't fix can't really fix mistakes under them like if it was a solid color base coat sometimes I'll go back and correct things but can't really do that with these you have to so you gotta go for gold and just be brave and hope you don't overstep too much on the lettering or whatever you end up putting on them I think these will make some really pretty um like fun backgrounds for the mandalas too because stuff shows through behind those <laughs> You're made of closet doors. Is that is that what you have laying everything out for like tables? You made closet doors? That's cool. And you're doing your koi's again. Those are so cool. I'm glad I found them so I could see what they looked like. Um, that was more elaborate than what I was imagining when you explained it the last time we were on. And they're so pretty. Those molds are fun to work with. I do enjoy working with the Ultra Cow and the molds keep thinking I might get some more and then I'm like no you don't need more things more supplies but maybe I'll save it for my Christmas list there we go see that's nice and simple somebody can find it all right I have two more let's see what have I got here I have some of these lists of like affirmations that are kind of good um, actually, let's see, I'm going to do, <laughs> you do the acrylic paint pouring all the time, stop touching it. Yeah, that's awesome. We were afraid um, when it wasn't covering like, like this one, some of the coverage on the sides weren't going down. And so we got the straw out and we were doing that to try and push it down the side. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna stick my finger in the overflow on the bottom and just kind of touch the sides and that worked fine. And it, you couldn't even really tell. Um, so now I forget what I was gonna write. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna write believe. I'm gonna write believe on this one because that's another good encouraging word if my pen doesn't die on me. I'm firmly to the left on this one, so I'm not starting too far over. Let's see. Oh, this stuff is definitely shinier. I wonder if that's the paint pouring medium, because I used matte paint that we mixed up, but that pouring medium, I wonder if it made it have the extra, like, almost like a glossy finish in it. It must be. Or it's not dry yet been a week should be dry well my l and my i are close together which is crummy because that looks um like a u but we're gonna fix that really start to stick down on it got it Ah, oh, they're your daughters. Cool. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to add some end things, and then I think I'm going to thicken these up so that'll help with that, those two letters that 
got squished together. So we have this. And there'll be a line here for the L, so hopefully that will help delineate the difference between the two. Got a little overzealous there. Okay. So let me, I'm just, on this one, I'm just going to thicken up the left side of each letter. So not necessarily the downstroke, but I think a lot of times it works out that way, but just the left streets, I guess, the left straight pieces of each letter. I'm going to thicken it up a little bit. There's not a lot of room on this eye because I really squished that guy in there. This should help. Let's see. That helps. That makes it look a little more like believe, doesn't it? A little more functional. Maybe I will take these. I have to resin them first, but I there's a really nice big park at my work or near my work rather. It's walkable. That's a good place for lunch walks. That these would be some really good ones to take and hide. So I'm gonna do those same kind of shine accent marks on this one. So it's not quite the right shape to write another something else. So we'll go with this. Oof, crack in the rock. Okay, there. That's not so bad. Believe. All right. One more. What are we going to write on this? And this one is kind of bumpy and I think it's more the rock than it is the paint pour or any bubbles. This was a little bit bumpy. So what is going to be the quote on this one? Um, ooh, I found one. I'm going to surprise you guys with it. So it's going to be another one that involves magic. One more magic. Let's see see how this kind of naturally falls. I'm going to write the magic first because I want that to be the big word. Magic. Yeah, this Posca is, I think it's going to get some over over um some paint over by regular white paint just because it's it's on its last leg which is okay it has served me well magic and i will add some glitter to this one too so I have been sharing when I finish off the rocks that we do on here, I've been sharing pictures of them in the community feed or on Facebook and Instagram. I'm not as active on, I see some of the, the rock folks on Instagram are like posting daily and I just can't keep up with that. <laughs> Get a drink real quick. I would love to, but having a day job and having kids, um, it's just too much. And I'm like, I'm not trying to make a full-time career out of this or something like some people are. So I realize they have to um, put more time and energy into it. Mine is here to share and to interact and have fun. And uh, we hang out with who we can hang out with and, so, but I do share these because it, it does take it to the next level when you get resin or like I'll add some glitter to some of these. So it will kind of take them to the next level. And it's fun to see the final finished product, especially if you haven't done something like this and you're considering it. So 
Let me let that dry for a second. I'll blow on it a little bit because I want to stick my finger in it. I'm going to write darling with an R. R's always give me trouble, but I did it. Ooh, bump. Get the G in there. Ah! That definitely skidded a little bit. There we go. So, darling, you are magic. And I'm going to go through, let's see if I can do this upside down. I don't know if I can think about that upside down. And thicken up the downstroke areas. So downstrokes are fun. Thicken them up. I think I'm going to throw our first crock pot dinner in tonight. It is fall. It is crock pot time. And I love that because crock pot is much easier for me. I am not the cook of this family. My husband is the master cook. I just keep people alive when I have to cook. <laughs> and because he works through the normal dinner hour for most people, I am responsible for dinner most nights of the week. <laughs> you either, Shannon. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of excited that crockpot season is here because um, I like the whole fix it and forget it. And there are a couple of things that I make in the crockpot that the kids actually like, which is probably the bigger battle <laughs> of cooking is comp not competing with him, but it is competing because they love his food and I love his food. And then it's my turn to cook and, it's just sad. <laughs> it's not as, not as yummy for them. So I'm going to make, I don't even remember what it's called. I think it was a chicken, chicken tortilla soup or no, it's not chicken tortilla soup. It's, it's like more like a stew. You put chicken and you put black beans and kidney beans and pinto beans and corn and fire roasted tomatoes. I think you can put green chilies in it or jalapenos if if you guys can do spicy and some chicken stock and then the cubed up chicken and it is um it's really good it's like a it's like a stew kind of like a chicken tortilla soup stew hi denise nice to see you um oh i don't see any more trolls i wonder I wonder if you're seeing something I'm not, because I don't see anything. All I see is you and Denise. But and Denise is for real. <laughs> I know Denise is real. She's a real rock artist, because I've seen her make comments on the channel elsewhere. So she's not one of our problem children. So um, I think she's, she's legit. <laughs> um, OK. Oh, I need a dot on this eye. <laughs> Let's make it a heart, just to be cute. All right, and there we go. So this one will definitely be getting some uh, some glitter paint, I think, on the magic and maybe the darling. But these are going to be fun. I can't wait to get resin on these and see how um, how they look in um, you know completely sealed. <laughs> I know you're real. <laughs> I know you're real. I know you're not a, a troll. I'm still like trying to figure that out because I've never had that happen before. That wasn't, that was a new one. So I think it's just you guys. We're safe. <laughs> it's a safe space right now. And it's actually about time to wrap up anyways. So um, thanks for coming to hang out and work on your rocks with me. It's fun to have company. Um, and I will try for next week. I think we should be okay to come on again next week. I found that this, um, seems to work. Sorry for the noise in the background, if you can hear that. Um, it seems to work well, rather than painting like actual designs during the lives, it seems to work well if there's something like this, like lettering, or we did the Zen tangling, or kind of more accent work seems to work better for the lives, because I can 
um, it's not wet paint and I can look up and, and look at your guys' comments and follow along. Oh my gosh, my hand handwriting is not that good. Um, I will, when this is over, I will link in the description. There's a book that I got on Amazon that helped me get started that was, um, it's like a workbook for hand lettering and it has, I don't know, maybe like four or five different like fonts. Some of them are print, some of them are, are this, this kind of cursive, like this one. And uh, it, <laughs> um, it's very helpful and it's got lines in it where you can practice and it's only like $6.99. So I will, um, or actually, let me see if I can, let's test this. Let's test my, my live capabilities here. Um, I have to think of the name of it though. And I'll see if I can link it and maybe share the screen so you can see it. Is it that one? I think it's this one. Let me make sure before I share it. I'm pretty sure this is the one. If I was over by my rock stuff, I would know because it's uh, it's over there. Uh, now I think this is this is the one. So let me get a link. I'm going to put the link in the chat since it sounds like you guys want to write. Oh no, don't get angry. <laughs> you can, you can do it or you go with what you know, right? So this link, and I don't know if links are clickable in the chat, so we'll find that out too. But um, I'll also put it in the description after this is over. But that one takes you to, let me see if I can share a screen here. Um, I will show you this Amazon tab. Okay, let me see here. So it's this book right here, this modern, modern calligraphy and hand lettering. Um, and it's just a really nice workbook. It's six ninety nine, dollars and it, um, it's a good way to practice, and that's kind of how I got started. So um, it's a good way to, uh, you know, practice the writing, give it a shot. And then I have this other one that I got that I have not admittedly gotten into it very much, but I want to. So this is hand lettering. I randomly found this person um i stumbled across her on youtube and realized that i had one of her books this book and um i had gotten it for hand lettering and one of the things that i like about this one is in the early on in it somewhere she has you and now i'm not gonna be able to find it very easily she wants you to just write with your own handwriting and she says, write the entire alphabet in your own handwriting just to see, you know, what your normal handwriting looks like. And then that's, that's kind of your starting point. So I, I liked that, that it, and it's kind of almost like a journal. She'll ask questions and then, you know, there's practice fonts that you can refer to. It's a really cute book and it's small. You can see like the size of my hand. It's not big. So this is another good one. I'll, I'll um, link that one too, but um, she has a YouTube channel. Um, on, she's a planner. Like I didn't know, oops, was I showing that to you guys and you couldn't even see it? No, you could see it. Sorry. I think you could see it. Um, but if you didn't, this is the book. It's cute hand lettering for journals, planners, and more. Um, but her channel is about planners. Like I had no idea that there was a planner community, but there is a very robust planner community. And I really like my planner, but I did not, I don't think I like it as much as some of these folks. They are very um, like stickers and um, multiple planners. I don't think I could survive that, but I stumbled across her and I really like her sense of humor. So I watch her stuff anyway. And it turns out we went to the same university at the same four year period. We literally lived within miles from each other. It's kind of funny. Um, and I found that out from back and forthing in one of her live streams with her. So um, she has another book that came out that's a doodling book that I may use as a basis for some rocks at some point. That would be kind of fun um, and kind of give her the credit she's due. Um, but anyhow, I have to go do some chores because I have not done all my chores today. I jumped on and did fun stuff first, which is 
probably good. It's like eating dessert first, right? It's, it's okay to do that sometimes. <laughs> so anyhow, I will share these rocks when they are done. I will link both of those books in the description when I sign off of here so that you've got that. And then um, I think we will be set to come back on live again next Sunday at 12. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to work on, but we'll come back then. Maybe I'll do some more paint pours that we can write on or draw on or something. So um, thanks for coming to hang out. Thank you, Shannon and Denise, for chatting with me. And um, I guess we'll give a shout out to the trolls, too, for making me feel like I've crossed some sort of weird threshold. <laughs> so you guys have a great week. Oh, Jess is late. You can watch the replay, Jess. I have to hop off and do um, chores. Um, but yeah, put it on in the background, watch the replay. I'm going to link a couple of hand lettering books that I've found really helpful. Um, Cause there's some interest in that and improving. So I'll link those in the description after I sign off of here and um, we'll be back. We'll be back next Sunday. I, I think this might become a weekly thing if it fits my schedule and I would let you know if it won't fit my schedule, but um, I'm trying to investigate some different camera options that give a different, um, like a more clearer picture. I think this is not terrible. This is not as bad as some of the other ones. And so you guys are rock stars for hanging in there with me. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget to take some downtime and have an awesome week. And I will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye.